Hey, it's me, Ari's Dumb Lady Tree, <laughs> and I'm here with, I guess, a vlog slash well, uh, video review. Not, not video review. Unboxing. I picked up these two um, at Target. These are the My Little Pony Equestria Girls Minis. There's no bio on these characters, but they're made in Vietnam, which I had to explain to my fiance that I don't think Hasbro makes anything in China anymore. I guess maybe it's cost, maybe it's the holidays from hell thing that resurfaced, that surfaced a few years ago in regards to Hasbro and their and their Transformers production place in China. But I picked these up at Target. Again, this is Rarity and Rainbow Dash. I'm not a brony, but I am a big fan of articulated action figures. Just like I decided to try out this guy. This is a Hero Master Stormtrooper. Um... I, hopefully, I'll do a video about the Hero Mashers in the same vein as the toy tryouts that I did with The Walking Dead. Usually, I've noticed that my toy collecting is kind of cyclic or circular <laughs> or cyclical. Like, when I found The Walking Dead figures, I was like, oh my gosh. I need some, I, like, I'm collecting Transformers, but there's a low sometimes in the collecting. Like right now, the Skylink's wave is out, and so is the Bruticus wave, the Sky Rain wave. Sky Rain and Bruticus and Scattershot. I already got the three Voyagers, but I haven't gotten the Sky Rain cars. I only got Hound. And out of Bruticus, I got everyone except Vortex because I oh, I don't have Shockwave yet either. So it, I'm not really motivated to buy those Transformers because they're mostly repaints. And they're still cheap, which is great. Target hasn't raised the price from $15.99 to $18.99 yet. But I'm thinking between now and May Mayhem, which is probably when the Titan Returns figures are going to start showing up. Between then, the price is probably going to go up at Target. But, I took out my wallet <laughs> just to check the receipt for the My Little Ponies. The regular price of these dolls, action figures, they're not dolls. <laughs> uh, it's $7.99. I saved a dollar twenty off for some reason. I don't know why. And then with cartwheel, I got twenty percent off, which is six seventy nine. Uh twenty percent off six seventy nine. So the basic price for each of these figures was five forty three. You nowadays an action figure for five dollars unless you go to five below which right now they have some of the Marvel Infinite figures. The last time I went to Five Below, they only had Deathlock. If they would have had Omega Red, I probably would have picked Omega Red up. But the thing with... Um, I love green tea. Lipton, give me stuff. So, <laughs> the thing about um, the Marvel Marvel Legends and Marvel Infinite, my Marvel love is kind of gone. I do like the movies. I'm looking forward to Civil War, uh, Captain America Civil War. But it's the comics is kind of like everywhere. They're doing Civil War 2, and I'm like... <sighs> They turned Falcon into Captain America. I'm like, ugh. 
they made Dora Lady rough. So <laughs> it's like the last time I read a comic was around the end of Secret Invasion when they killed the Wasp. But I'm sure she's back. They killed Captain America. He came back. So comics, I don't really, I'm not really into right now. Probably something will happen and I'll get back into comics. Maybe they'll make Marvel Legends um, $10 again. <laughs> That's not going to happen. <laughs> but anyway, it, like I said, this is a slash blog slash unboxing first impression. So as I was saying before I got sidetracked, when I found the Halo Reach line, uh, my fiance had bought me around Christmas time a uh, Dutch at Target. He was like $10. He was on sale. And when I opened Dutch and I moved him around, I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And I went nuts. <laughs> and even though I didn't review a lot of figures, I think because my computer had died, I still had a big interest in Halo, Halo Reach. When Halo 4 came out, the figures kind of went from the swapping um, feature to to just like being regular figures of dudes. <laughs> and the designs got uglier, so I kind of left the line. I got back into Transformers because of the generations. It, uh, specifically Scoop, the Target Master. I do like that Hasbro with the Transformers is bringing back old school thingies. Like we had, um, Target Masters aren't that great, but I prefer them to Pretenders. So we had some Target Masters. We had, we have Combiners. Now we're going to have Headmasters, which is a gimmick I liked as a kid, but I was never able to get a Headmaster for the life of me. I had Misfire, who was a, a target master but never a headmaster so I'm looking forward to Titan's return I have a feeling that I if I open these guys and I like them a lot I'm probably gonna pick up some more but probably just the single ones but I think there's only like four or five of them and then they have the box set so I'm gonna have to get like a, I'm gonna be the owner of a little sofa a little bed <laughs> And then I'll call myself a brony and go to conventions. No, I'm not going to become a brony. But I might catch up on the, <laughs> the TV show, like the My Little Pony Equestria Girls movies. And, um, <laughs> yes, they're girl toys, but I think these, these two, they appeal more to both sexes because... They don't have, like, the hair that you can comb, the dresses that you can switch. These are more action figures than dolls. I saw Rainbow Dash. I liked her first. I was only going to pick her up, but then when I checked the Cartwheel app, and I saw that there was a 20% off, I, I decided to pick up Rarity. Um, the Rarity that I really liked was the one with the rollers in her hair, but that was in a big box that was 20 bucks. so... I'm just going to try her out. I was telling my fiance that I hate when they do things with figures, like give them expressions. Like um, with the Marvel Legends, that would happen a lot. You'd have like Punisher yelling. You'd be like, ah. And then <laughs> you're posing him with the, everyone's like stern faced and you got Punisher. Ah. So <laughs> that sucks. I think it's, um, Fluttershy or Pinkie Pie, one of them, the act, the figure, she has one eye closed and uh, I think her mouth opened like, yeah. So that messes up the, the figure. I probably won't pick that one up if I like these. <laughs> but an example, Rainbow Dash is smiling. She's gritting her teeth like, eee. And Rarity has a smirk. So these, I think these expressions are okay. And I saw there's already a customizer. Her name's uh, Tiffany, oh, Tiffany Bell, I think. 
she turned the, some of these into like Marceline from Adventure Time and Ariel from the Little Mermaid. So there's a, I, there's a way to customize them. I when I saw Rainbow Dash, I was thinking she'd make for a good alien to visit the Lost Light and like interact with Tailgate. <laughs> He'd be like. So what are you doing here? And she'd be like, oh, I'm here to see Windblade. <laughs> or something. Usually when I collect action figures, there's... I don't play with my toys anymore. But not, not physically. Probably in my mind. Like if I pick up the... Like I just mentioned, if I pick this up, this figure up, I'm immediately thinking... That she's going to be interacting with tailgate. I guess that's just the way my story brain goes. And I guess the way a kid would play with their toys. So <laughs> I've noticed a lot of my collecting comes down to that. Like I look forward to getting Wheelie and having, having him rhyme with tailgate. Like Wheelie say we go play today. So that's like a part of why I collect toys. Um, I guess it's the story aspect. I've always been a storyteller in my own mind. <laughs> I haven't been able to get my story out. Like I wanted to be a comic book artist, but when Joseph Michael Lisner told me I was too old, that, that got dashed. I mean, nowadays with the internet, I can make my own comic book. Um, the resources. I'd have to learn how to do Flash and all that stuff. So I'm more of an idea guy. There's this d director. He um, he directed a movie called The Wizard of Speed of Time. He was asking around on the internet if anyone knew of a program where you would whistle fee -foo -fee -foo <laughs> into a microphone and it would create music. <laughs> there doesn't exist. But that would be awesome. I think if a lot of people had access to stuff like that, there'd be more creative types. Like me, if I could invent anything, it would be like, <laughs> this is whack. <laughs> like a helmet where you would think a story and it would, uh, like the computer would make the story. Like, ah, uh, this thing from this angle here. And like, I can imagine tailgate walking down the hallway, like from from like a, a overhead perspective, you know, like down a hallway and then the like car passes, it's hot rod, you know, that's all in my mind. <laughs> I, it's, I can't do that with the little set that I have, but yeah, I'm a big creative type. All right. So for those people that are like, come on with the unboxing and the, and the vlogging already finish. <laughs> This one's for the kids. <laughs> I guess if I start reviewing these little, um, my little pony figures, um, get my kid audience is probably going to go up. <laughs> so I got this box cutter. Remember, um, adult supervision. I'm cutting off this plastic thing. Rainbow Dash is loose. She's still up. already found the looseness. She has this little plastic thing. Uh, all right. The package it says that they require hand support to keep their poses, but let me just all the coolness I was expecting. So here we go. There she is. <laughs> I I can imagine that by her big old noggin, she's not going to stand up on her own, but let me give it a shot. She's able to stand on one of her legs <laughs> because the, the base of the leg is flat. And I this is cool. There's a, a, pe a peg hole. So I'm guessing with the, <laughs> the My Little Ponies, 
minis that come with backgrounds, like with um, living room sets or bedroom sets, they'll probably have little pegs where they could peg into the floor. So on that one leg, she is staying um, balanced, but her other leg is up. The head feels like it's on a ball joint. So that's cool. The elbows, it's, um, it's a peg in the body connected to the arm by a, a socket. I mean, it's like a ring. <laughs> so her arm can go up and down and forward and back. And her little elbow can bend and then swivel. So it's a lot of articulation for a little thing like this. Her wrist, um, the lower part of her arm is one piece. So her wrist, are, her hands are going to stay like that. Her little wristbands do come off. There's like a, a little slot. I mean, there's space so that you could slip them off. And with a, with a flathead screwdriver, if you want to, you could remove the hair and swap it out. So, so far, I'm color me impressed. The, I am having a problem with the issue that she's not going to be able to stand by herself but maybe after a little more posing I'll be able to do it but not if not she's probably going to spend most of her time <laughs> on the ground really impressed look at that da, 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 I'm doing a jig I'm gonna kick a soccer ball she can even do a flying pose Look at, look at me, I'm flying. <laughs> Pretty cool. And for the price, the cartwheel and the 20% off, whatever that was price for $5.98 or something. I think I'm going to pick up two more. <laughs> the other two. All right, let's see what's different about Rarity. The bad thing about action figures is that usually when you see them in package, you can't imagine any problems with it. In your mind, all the joints are tight, you know, and the swivels are this, and the paint is great. And then once you open it, reality comes in. Her joints are a little stiff. I would say that's a good thing. But also in the back, in the subconscious of my mind, I'm thinking that one twist and it's going to break. So in, in the old days with Marvel Legends, um, that would happen where you would twist the joint and then it'd break because the, the plastic's so soft and the joint, whatever has the joint stuck, isn't going to give. You could use warm water. I think there's also like... A, a hair dryer you could use or the freeze and and boil thing I don't know how that works but if you're an action figure collector you probably dealt with that before so here we go with rarity We've got the little thingy with the pictures By the shape of her head, they look like they're all from the same movie. <clears throat> I have some reservations about her legs. They look like they might not have any knee joints. I'm hoping that's not true. Because you see they're straight. They're not bent. And she's different that she has a skirt. Oh, the skirt is soft plastic. I was expecting this to be hard plastic, but it's soft. So here we have Rarity. 
her legs aren't her legs aren't really loose, but uh, that's her head that's moving her own whole body. And yes, we have a winner. <laughs> she has knees. She has big flat feet. So let's hopefully she'll be able to stand better than a rainbow dash. And she does have the same um, hip articulation as Rainbow Dash. So it looks like the body construction is the same for all of them. They use the same design. Which is, sometimes there's some lines, some toy lines where, like the Star Wars, the 5 inch ones, some of them would have elbows, and some of them wouldn't. Some of them would have knees, some of them wouldn't. So I'm glad that they both share the same articulation between the two of them. And uh, Rarity can stand, even with her big mop of hair. Let's see. She is inclined a little to the front, but she can stand. Her legs have to be a certain position. They were like this. So you see, both feet aren't pointing for front, they're pointing out to the side. And her hands are sculpted in a certain position. I don't think she's going to be able to hold any accessories, not in this one, but maybe in this one. She only has one ear, <laughs> the other ear. It's probably under this mound of hair. I'm Aries Double Eighty Three. That was my my unboxing of my Equestria Girls minis action figures. And to tell the truth, before I opened them, I was already thinking of getting <laughs> getting. I think it's Fluttershy and Applejack, even when one of them is like winking and. Uh, but for that price. I don't think it's going to come again. Might as well get it now. So I'll see you guys on the flip side. If you're uh, <laughs> a brony or just a fan of my little ponies, uh, let me know if you like the review. Um, maybe I'll do more. I don't know, but we'll see. <laughs> if you want more, let me know. But I, I am still doing my my zoom in video games um I, zoom in. I am doing my android reviews i know that's not everyone's cup of tea uh, my channel is partnered with a channel called zoomin.tv they're from the netherlands and they're a video game channel when they offered me the the network partnership i was like i i know you guys it'd be the same it, the same like if machinima said hey we want you they're known for um, their video games, but I think Sean Long's a partner with them, and for a while, Red Letter Media was a partner with them. I don't know if they still are, but it, my partner, my MCN is a <laughs> multi-channel network, is a video game company. So it's I'm trying to set up a different channel for my video game stuff. But the approving process to get those videos monetized is really hard. Since I'm under MCN, that's a video game company. They're like, video game videos? Yeah. Approve that. <laughs> Approve that stuff. Do it. But my Android apps channel, it's like, hey, do you have permission to record this video? And I'm like, but PewDiePie? <laughs> So I, I am still interested in reviewing my Skylinks and, and Onslaught and my Combiner Wars figures. So stay tuned. Thank you for sticking with me. I know I haven't updated a lot. I have an internet situation where <laughs> there's no internet. Um, I do videos and then I put them on my phone and upload them to the, to the internet. So... It's not like I could do a, a live um, 
chat when I'm, I have some time off. I'd love to. I want to do like a podcast channel with um, like it's 1985 and comic toy reviews. And I would probably invite other guys that are fans of my channel to like co-host. But um, when I had internet, my computer is, it's a Windows um, Vista. And YouTube is like, oh, uh, yeah, you, <laughs> your computer is outdated. Like the software that you can use from XSplit, it's not going to work on Vista. And so I was like, ah. But I'm working on it. Stay with me, guys. I'll see you guys on the flip side, as always.